Happening today, teachers across the state are protesting, hoping to put pressure on lawmakers for more education funding. ABC 4's Jared Jettinini has how teachers are getting their voices heard. Teachers at Woodrow Wilson Elementary School in the Granite School District did not walk out of class, instead organized a walk-in. We are teachers, we make shorts! And we can still go on our teaching day, but we wanted to make sure we're in solidarity with the rest of the districts. Teachers held signs, wore red to show solidarity, and rallied outside the school for about 20 minutes, but made it inside for the first bell at 8.40 a.m. These educators demanding Utah lawmakers to put the surplus from the state's budget into schools, a 6% increase across the board. I think with more funding, we could get more resources so teachers like me and all the rest of these people out here don't have to take money out of their own pocket. And paid parental leave. Educators say as it stands now, it's difficult to retain teachers. It'll help retain teachers and it'll help our students. A lot of, there's a lot of stresses on a school building and there's so much need in a school like this. We wanted to make sure we're in solidarity with the rest of the districts who are all unified in asking for a 6% increase on the WPU this year. Salt Lake City School District is on a half day. Teachers plan to march from the federal building to the Capitol. Here are pictures from last year. Teachers calling this a walk for students. It starts at 1 p.m. Because I love what I do. The governor says education is a top priority. Over the past 10 years, education has received about $200 million in funding a year. But educators say that's simply not enough. 4% is no fun. 6% will get it done. As legislators continue to debate on Capitol Hill, we'll just have to wait to see what the budget for education will be. Jared Jatsanini, ABC4 News.